The union contracts are all signed. Isn't that wonderful? What's that supposed to mean? What do you mean? Why do you have that snide grin on your face? Hank Rogers called while you were out. Oh. And? And what? You tell me. Well, uh, what did he say? The lead he reported to you about the Riley baby. The lead he reported to you 24 hours ago. You remember? Go on. What else? That's all. <laughs> Isn't that enough? Well, thank you for the message, Matt. I'm very busy. You can go. I said, you can go. You know, Doreen, I never realized how desperate you are to take Joe away from Vicky. It's obvious you won't stop at anything. Really. I wasn't going to tell Vicky and Joe anything until I had some confirmation. But how can you confirm anything if you're just sitting on the information and not doing anything about it? I said I was waiting for Hank Rogers to tell me what he found. But he found out about the migrant worker yesterday. I warn you, Matt, you are getting concerned with matters that do not concern you. Your warning days are over, Dorian. I couldn't have had a better piece of information than this uh, if it had fallen out of the skies on me. Do you realize what Joe and Vicky would do if they knew you had this information and had not told them about it immediately? I told you. You wouldn't have, they wouldn't have a thing to do with you ever again. Yeah, you might as well go into hiding, Dorian. Oh, oh, you did it this time. You really did it. Are you quite finished? Aren't you wondering what I'm going to do? I don't give a damn what you do. Oh, really? Well, then you won't mind if I just call Joe and tell him myself. <laughs> Just dial the last digit. That's all right. I wasn't going to tell him anyway. I have a better idea. I've already booked a plane reservation. I am meeting Hank Rogers and joining him while he looks for that couple with the baby. And when he finds them, I'm going to take little Kevin Riley in my arms and bring him back home myself. You are out of your mind. Why? Don't you want Joe and Vicky reunited with their little one? You keep out of this. Well, who's going to keep me out? You? You got nothing to say anymore, Dorian. You played your last card. You're broke. Bankrupt. One more word from me and you're dead. No, from now on we're going to play this thing my way. Joe and Vicky get the baby back. I become the hero. You retire to your big house on the hill and make the best of things. Because once Joe and Vicky get their baby back, they'll resolve all their differences. And live happily ever after. Without you. But if I am, you're not going to be a hero. Joe is never going to forgive you for not letting him find the baby himself. Well, I could just tell him that I'm uh, checking out to be sure it's a good lead. You know how discouraged he's been with all the uh, bad leads that haven't panned out. It's not going to get you your job back. He may reward you in some way, but he doesn't want you on the paper in any way whatsoever. Oh, that's all right. I don't care about my job anymore. I have other things in mind. Oh? Such as what? Well, I wasn't going to tell you the story, and <laughs> now that the situation's changed so uh, radically, thanks to Mr. Rogers, um... Uh, 
Do you remember those memoirs that I told you I was writing? You know, all about all your dirty little deals you were pulling on everybody. Well, I finished them. I was going to put them in the mail to Joe and leave town. There was nothing left for me here. You obviously weren't going to be successful in helping me stay. But then it occurred to me, I'm your best friend. I'm your only friend. Have you ever stopped to think about that? No. Yes. Well, as I say, I had my little memoir package all ready to send. But now there's no reason to. I can stay in Landview and get what it is I really want. You just said you didn't care about your job anymore. My job, Dorian, was only a means to an end, a means to allow me to stay and pursue the thing, the one thing that means more to me than anything else. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, for God's sake? What do you want? You, Dorian. What? Surprised. Me? Why not? You're not questioning my taste, are you? Now I know you've lost your mind. Yes, I quite agree with you there, Dory. Falling in love with you was one Falling of the Falling in love with me. Falling in love with you was possibly the dumbest thing I have ever done. Not to mention the most fatal. But we can't control these things, can we, Dorian? No matter how hard we try. I have been in love with you ever since we went to bed together. Don't tell me you don't remember. Yes. I remember. Well, I might have gotten over it if uh, you had uh, let things continue that way for a while. But you wouldn't let me touch you anymore. And the more you rebuffed me, the more I wanted you. Matt, you're not in love with me. What you want. No, Dorian. What I wanted. It goes much deeper now. I love you, and I'm going to have you. And there isn't anything you're going to do about it. You're going to have me. And there isn't anything I can do about it. You've been a lot worse than me in the past. Have I? Mark Tolan wasn't exactly the world's most noble human being. Well, I guess I didn't consider nobility much of a prerequisite. No. It was usually more like youth or unavailability. We're two of a kind, Dorian. And the sooner you admit that, the easier the road is going to be. We are not going anywhere together, Matt. You have no one else. I guess I'll just die a lonely old lady. That's exactly the way you will die if you keep after Joe Riley like this. Are you doing this to yourself, Dorian? Why do you go after the men that you can't possibly have? Can't you see what you're doing to yourself? We think alike, we act alike. We don't give a damn for anybody else in the world except ourselves. We can have everything we want if we just work together. I already have everything I want, Matt. No, you don't. You sit alone in this house, night after night. You keep inviting me over because you're so desperate for company. It doesn't have to be that way, Dorian. I love you. If you could just let go, you could learn to love me, too. Try. That's all I'm asking.
Goodbye, Dorian. I've got to find a baby.